Hi, we are going to demonstrate this software called the Relay Setter. Double click the icon. So this is the user interface for line protection. There are already some data the software will memorize the data I entered the last time. So for the first time, you have to find the Aspen one line of fire and uh, put some information there. For example, we are working on a transmission line relay that is located in the Dublin station. So the local bus name is Dublin, remote bus name is Power. This name must match the name in the Aspen one line of fire. The one-liner may or may not be started when this software is running. So you enter the voltage level, line ends, emergency load, some city information, PD information, and the select the protection scheme. So there are four schemes. If you select the current differential scheme or DCB scheme, you need to enter the remote CT ratio and the remote PD ratio because there are some coordination um, that are necessary for, uh, for those schemes. So let's try a step distance scheme. We just need to click this button, generate settings calculation document. Since there are two lines between the doubling station and the power station, so the program pop up this dialog and let you make a selection. So we select Dublin, Naples, Power, this line, and I confirm. You will see the progress bar. The settings are calculated and the document is generated automatically. So this spreadsheet can be used as a standalone setting calculation tool. Those uh, yellow cells can be modified and this green cell contain data from Aspen one liner simulation and the gray cells are calculated value or copied value that should not be changed. So let's look at, at example. For example, ground instantaneous overcurrent. Let's review the settings. It is enabled. Uh, if you want, you can disable it. So if you enable it, let's look at this setting. Those data from uh, Aspen one liner short circuit. It is, this number is from a uh, closing ground fault. This one from a uh, remote bus ground fault. This one from line and ground fault, and this one from a remote bus ground fault and a single contingency, or oh, actually double contingency. It shows this contingency, the line and the transformer out of service for external 40 will see this current. So the automated setting is 12 amp. And it is trying to balance the sensitivity and the security, but you can make a change. If you want this element to be more sensitive, you can change it to say 10 amp. It is uh, still a valid setting, just uh, less, co less security margin. Or you want to be conservative, you can change it to 13 amp, give a more margin there. And compared to the closing 40 is 42%. If you put a 12 amp, it's 38% of closing fault, but 200%, 226% uh, for uh, the parent current from a remote bus fault. So in section four of this document, so there's setting summary for each relay. We know that GE relay 
for example, they use PU for current settings, and the spicer relay use AMP for current settings. So we have to kind of make a translation from the general setting calculation to those individual relays. And the section five is the uh, uh, NERC PRC23 compliance verification part. You don't need to really change anything except the city thermal factor or relay uh, input current rating. In most cases, you don't need to change those. And after all this calculation, you can see uh, yes, 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 relay settings, thermal, city thermal, relay input, they all satisfy the PRC23. This can be uh, evidence for the compliance. So you can save this file, the default file name, include a date and the line name, and the voltage level. You can make a change, of course. You can also PDF it. Yeah. Put whatever name you want or use the default name. So, this is the uh, setting document. And that, that's it.